Okay, okay, we're ready to set up A2X accounting or Amazon to zero accounting in long form. And a bit of background, if you're not sure why I'm suggesting you set this up or what's the background on this piece of software, essentially you're importing your Amazon transaction to zero and it's very simple. Um, that, that is all very true. And, and so what I'll say here is each Every two weeks, if you're like most sellers, you'll get a payout from Amazon, and the amount that hit your bank account isn't the total amount of, of sales you had for that period. It's your total sales minus fees and refunds and whatever else Amazon chooses to take out. So that amount that hits your account is the net sales, not the gross sales. So this little tool will plug into Seller Central. It'll go grab those two-week payouts, and it'll itemize all the sales and the fees per payout. So it won't have every single order come into zero. It'll have as a general lump sum payout um, of, of every two weeks, what were your sales, fees, refunds, etc. So this, uh, this, this piece of software works like a charm. It takes literally a, a minute or two to handle a payout, whereas it would probably take a few hours if you had to do all this manually. So... Um, you can read more of the details, but that should suffice for now. So the whole point of this particular video is we just want to sign up. There's a couple of things. There's a three-step process of signing up and getting started. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. I'll go ahead and click sign up at the top. And one thing, I'll, the first step is you have to log in with Google. A2X accounting only uses Google account. If you have a Gmail account or you have Google-enabled domain, Go ahead and log in with that. If not, just go over to gmail.com and set yourself up with an email. It's super simple. It takes five minutes tops. So I'll go ahead and log in now. And now that I've logged in, we're ready to go to step two, which is to connect to zero. So all that you have to do is super simple. Click this little blue button to connect to zero. And it's going to bring us back over to zero. And if you happen to be logged in already, which I am, it'll um, it'll just ask you to authorize. You, if you haven't logged in, you'll log in, and then you'll see this screen, which is to just authorize the organization. And now we'll be redirected back to A2X Accounting. So here we are. We've knocked out the first two steps. Super easy. This third step is slightly trickier, but really, if um, you're selling online, you should have handled plenty of software, and uh, this shouldn't be too much of a trouble for you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click the Amazon.com logo, and then we're going to end up plugging in, after we log into our Seller Central account, we're going to be plugging in this application name and this developer ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, before I click the logo, I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. I'll go ahead and open this in a new tab. And then I'm going to just go ahead and log in. And now that we've logged in, we have three options. To um, I'm not even going to explain all three options. I'm going to save, save you time and just tell you, click the second option. Type in A, the number 2, and then the letter X. I'm going to go over to the developer account number. I'm going to paste what I just copied over from the previous page, the developer ID. Then I'm going to accept these terms, basically saying you taking responsibility that Amazon isn't responsible for how the application uses your data. And now that we have connected A2X to this Amazon seller account, what we're going to do is we're going to grab, there's these three strings of, of digits and numbers, this data, these tokens, we're going to copy them over, pasted them into the three columns, and then we'll click save and complete. It really is as simple as that. So we were successful. And now it says, welcome to A2X. Your first settlements, those biweekly payouts, are being imported into the A2X software. 
It should take a few minutes and this page will refresh automatically. So if you've got to this point, great. That means you've done everything correctly. The integration was seamless over to Seller Central and over to Zero, and we've got the initial setup perfectly completed. So with that being said, if you run into a couple of errors, I'm going to create an errors video as a little bonus. If you end up having trouble with A2X every now and then, there's a couple of issues that come up um, with particular sellers accounts and uh, I'll take handle that in a separate video. But if you've got to this point, um, you've done everything correctly and uh, we'll move on to this second phase of A2X accounting integration.